The Sparking Zero situation got worse. Let's talk about all the recent crazy news that happened over the past day and even kind of going into this morning. As you guys know, we are literally, okay, one day away from this game dropping. Can you believe it? How fast that went? I know for some people, or actually for a lot of people, it didn't really feel that fast. It was like, you know, unbearable waiting. But uh, for the most part, for me personally, I, I feel like this just whole year has gone by so fast. I think the older you get, the faster it feels. But let's talk about all this crazy stuff because there's been a lot of leaks. Okay, the leaks have been going crazy. Now, keep in mind, I'm not going to be showing any spoilers or anything that's related to actual gameplay or any of that. We're just going to be talking about, you know, the crazy uh, stuff going on with people streaming the game. Obviously, people, I mean, as you're seeing here on screen right now, they're, they're already getting the game early, dude. Like pre-download, early access happened, I think, yesterday or like two days ago, right? And I think it's for all consoles. Uh, some people commented and let me know that uh, on Xbox, they got it. And for PS5, they got it. Now, when it comes to PC and Steam, you still cannot pre-download it, okay? I don't know how all that works with Steam, but um, hopefully we'll be able to get early access, you know, obviously by tomorrow. Uh, but yeah, this is going to be launching tomorrow for early access users only at 3 p.m. PST, 5 p.m. CST, and 6 p.m. EST. Those should be the official times from what was revealed and from what I, you know, saw from a Bandai rep and everything. So as you're going to see in here on screen from DBSI, he says some lucky people got the collector's edition already and some managed to get the physical disc early. Avoid internet for the next two days because the spoilers slash leaks may come. And let me tell you, they're already happening and they've been happening. Okay, you guys remember Edgar? We'll get into Edgar here in a bit because Edgar was trending <laughs> legit. Like I'm not even joking. So not going to post anything myself though. So yeah, keep in mind, um, most of these accounts, you know, like DBS hype, or even for me, uh, for example, like we won't, we're not going to post any of this crazy spoiler stuff. Okay. Obviously we'll wait for the game to come out while I'll play the game and then we can talk about it. Right. So don't worry about that too much, but, um, the collector's edition, uh, I've seen many people, there's been unboxings people already done on YouTube and everything. Um, it looks awesome. The figure slash statue thing, I know people, will, you know, we're having some issues with that. It looks a little bit janky, but for the most part, this is pretty cool. And if you're lucky enough to get your, you know, collector's edition or your copy early, great. I, I don't know how all that's working. It's just random. You know, some people, it, it's being sent out and the estimated date gets pushed up and you just, you'll just randomly see it. You'll wake up to it maybe one day. You know, obviously, like I said, it's coming out tomorrow, but for the most part, I think most people are going to be getting this later than early access. For me, for example, mine showing, I think it's gonna be coming on like the eighth or the ninth, okay? And that's fine. I don't mind waiting for the collector's edition or whatever. I'm going to be playing this game via the early access, obviously, just like everybody else. But um, if you are able to get it early, you know, play it. Uh, don't stream it, but play it, okay? Don't stream or don't do anything until early access goes up, right? Or the Bandai, namco cops are gonna come for your ass right so as you can see somebody actually has two physical copies it looks like they're in their car so i'm assuming they purchased this from some type of retailer either gamestop walmart uh, target whatever it may be usually it's gamestop that will like accidentally have copies out there they just don't really care or some people will request it or some people have connections with people that work at gamestop that they can get the copy uh early that's a thing, right? So if you can form some connections with some people at GameStop or some of these retailers, if you know a friend that's over there and can get you the game early, obviously you gotta pay for it, then great, you know, good for you. But again, just don't leak anything online. Don't spoil anything online. Um, you know, people are like, oh yeah, our hero Edgar or whatever. Like I said, we're, we'll are we get into that too here because <laughs> this happened, I think around like yesterday, uh, Edgar was very persistent. I gotta respect that, okay? I gotta respect the grind this dude will not give up <laughs> with as many times as bandai has taken down his streams or taken down his videos or given him a copyright claim or whatever it may be um i don't know if they actually struck his channel uh they probably did and you know he just keeps coming back with a new account but i can't confirm any of that but the individual edgar was back with sparking zero early live stream but bandai took him down again pretty much directly 
<laughs> through live chat this time. Now, this is where shit gets hilarious, okay? I was laughing so hard when I woke up to this this morning because I read what the message was from Bandai themselves. So Bandai appeared in his chat, okay? Uh, this is one of the social media or marketing directors or managers, probably just a social media manager. They just straight up went into his chat and said, Edgar, my guy, stop doing this. <laughs> They literally, they did the, the meme, dude. They put their hand on his shoulder and said, Edgar, you're going too far, fam. I need you to stop. It's becoming a problem. <laughs> like, why are you saying this like it's like an intervention? <laughs> like, bro, bro's like a drug addict or something like that. Or he's like an alcoholic and it's like, Edgar, you have to stop this. It's not too late. <laughs> <laughs> and Edgar said, fuck you. I don't care, right? <laughs> he just keeps going with it, right? So moving on here, um, this is another person. This is somebody who isn't Edgar, but they've been calling him Edgar 2.0, all right? This is this is his, uh, his son here. So I said, dog, this shit is terrifying because somebody tweeted at me, yo, this dude is about to get cooked, okay? So I don't know who this is, but bro had a whole ass face cam. Why would you show your face when you're doing this? You are like permanently banned from Bandai Namco in a sense, not really, but uh, this is the most terrifying one just because Bandai goes in the chat and like, you're just sitting there. Okay, you're just sitting there streaming the game, having a good time. You know, you're not thinking, you're not thinking of anything, right? You're not thinking of like the, the worst case scenarios. And then Bandai Namco comes in your stream and says, hello. <laughs> literally dude literally it's the it's the goku meme from xenoverse 2 dude it's the prowler meme dude. <laughs> edgar 2.0 uh do a transformation edgar 2.0 lol that's scary man that's actually so terrifying so they said oh nah you can't stream it waiting on bandai to pull up you're cooked my man bandai is here <laughs> that is so terrifying and i'm laughing about it because it's comedy you know again these people they shouldn't be doing this um i don't wish for any of these people to get banned or copyright struck or anything i don't I, i'm not i'm not wanting that to happen okay i wish that wasn't the case but if you just keep doing this shit i'm sorry to say you're playing with fire when you play with fire you're gonna get burned and the the ignition is is bandai namco okay they're not fucking around y'all so like you can keep doing this, but they're going to keep finding you. They have eyes and ears everywhere. Okay. From what I heard, this is somebody, I don't know if this is true or not, but I'm assuming this is the case. Somebody in one of my comments said that they are uh, a social media manager. They work as on the social media team. And apparently they have like an algorithm in their system for any time, anything related to their company gets mentioned, either through the company title, the products that they produce it will go through the algorithm and detect it so that they're able to respond, usually if it's an issue. So for example, if I say, I, this has happened before, I've said uh, something about AT&T, because that's my internet provider. Uh, you guys are fucking garbage or something like that, you know, whatever it may be, if I'm stressed out about the internet having issues, which you guys remember when I was streaming, there was some issues, right? <laughs> so anytime that happens, uh, you could potentially get a response pretty quickly from that company even without mentioning them like that's the thing i didn't even add them or anything i was just complaining i was just bitching and venting right so that could be the case with bandai and most of these other social media companies that's why like for example when i was talking about it and that's another thing i didn't even mention edgar i didn't even know who it was when i first made that tweet and people again just blaming me like oh you were you were the snitch or whatever and it's like i don't give a shit like whatever but it's like don't blame me. It's 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 everybody. And if you want to blame anybody, it's Edgar's fault. <laughs> Again, it's your fault. If you're going to stream the game when you're not supposed to, regardless of if you purchased it or not. Oh, I purchased it. I own the copy. I own the game now, right? They have specifically, explicitly said several times, do not post anything on the game before release, okay? Coming from one of the, you know, social media marketing managers and everything. So now Edgar decided, this is a whole ass story, y'all. I'm sorry, this is, it, it, it's a lot, okay? Edgar began to stream on Twitch. He said, all right, we move, we move in. All right, we're gonna migrate. Uh, this YouTube thing ain't working, right? <laughs> so the infamous Edgar is back as not Edgar123. This dude knows what he's doing. He's being funny, bro. Like this dude, this man is a comedian. All right, he's not even like this, this guy's going places, right? 
So uh, he said, but Bandai's on his tail all the time. So once again, Bandai Namco, they come through in the chat. Okay, this is the official Bandai Namco US. <laughs> and they go, why not, Edgar? Why? <laughs> this is the whole shit, bro. It's a whole movie. This is, a, this, bro, I got to make a documentary on this. Like, Edgar is going down in history as, like, one of the most infamous Dragon Ball leakers of all time, bro. So, again, here is, um, I, I think he was the, what is he, the, the social media or marketing brand manager. Sorry, brand manager. Okay, shout out to Ryan Wagner here because all day now, okay, or since yesterday, right, and probably going into the day because I'm, sh I'm sure Edgar and other people are going to be trying to stream the game early again. Okay, he posted this. Hello, not Edgar123. And he played. He's been doing a cooler, cooler memes. <laughs> he's this dude. I think he really loves the cooler movie because all the responses and all the tweets that he's had have all been from the cooler movie specifically. So I think I know who this guy's favorite character is. And that's hilarious because it's like this dude's going around just destroying absolutely flaming eviscerating these people who are streaming the game early and posting <laughs> cooler memes like it doesn't get better than this right it doesn't get more hilarious than this bandai namco one of the best honestly one of the best companies out there when it comes to you know publishing and gaming and stuff because when when it comes to the actual social media people they're funny as fuck and you can tell like they're they're trying to be funny. They're having a good time with it or whatever, even though this is, you know, this is pretty serious in terms of like the, the, the leaking shit too early. And keep in mind when I'm making these videos and I'm talking about this, me personally, I don't have a huge deal with leaks. Okay. It's not the end of the world for me, but I don't want to see anything that I haven't been able to experience for myself. I think everybody else or a lot of people can agree with that. Right. Again, it's not the end of the world. I'm not going to like you know, it's, it's not over for me or anything, but it's like, it's annoying as fuck, right? Like, come on, like you want to enjoy this shit whenever it goes up and it's live for you to download for yourself and play for yourself. Playing and watching something or seeing something or getting exposed to something like a flashbang is completely different, you know? So I don't know if this is actually true or not. I saw some people saying it, it actually wasn't. This was something that was a problem uh, that I guess just coincidentally was happening around the same time, but whenever pre-download early access went live yesterday or whenever it was okay for at least the playstation 5 allegedly psn started having trouble right after the pre-download started for sparking zero so again i don't know if that's true or not we already know that sparking zero a lot of people were playing it so i mean whether it's true or not it doesn't really matter um this game a lot of people are on top of it okay um i wouldn't uh i wouldn't put it past the idea of this game breaking servers on early access or just within the first week of this game dropping like officially for everyone the servers are they might potentially have a problem okay this could be an ultra instinct sign goku you know anime situation where the internet breaks okay now will it spread to pornhub or anything like that i don't know about that but hey what are you guys doing here? Let me give you some ideas, all right? For all these people that are like, "Oh yeah, you, you, you a snitch or whatever." Here, you guys, Edgar, if you want to, you want to, you want to get your content out there, go on Pornhub and. and <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. Honestly, can you even stream on there? I have no idea, but whatever. Uh, don't do that. I'm joking. It's a joke, so don't don't take it seriously. Don't do that shit at all. Uh, and other news, okay? This is just really cool shit, right? Because I like to talk about cool shit. Uh, Bad Blood, okay, uh, Sparking Zero was sponsoring the Bad Blood WWE event. That's insane, okay? Because a lot of Dragon Ball fans are also fans of WWE. And this was a whole ass thing that they had yesterday, late at night. And it's just crazy. Never in a million years that I think I would see Goku in the background or a Dragon Ball logo in the background of a WWE event. They were fucking destroying each other with Dragon Ball chilling in the background, dog. Like, it's crazy. And it was everywhere. Sparking Zero's logo, everywhere. They had it right whenever it opened up. Boom. They had a little tra transition sheen. They showed Sparking Zero. Probably, I don't know if they had a trailer playing over there, dude. That's that's crazy, dog, right? So like I said, never in my life did I think I'd see Broly in the background. <laughs> we had Broly out here. Look at this. Look at this shit. Absolutely wrecked him. Dog. Oh, my God. Let's go, dude. And look, Broly's just chilling in the background. We got Frieza in the front, dude. That's crazy. Like, are you kidding me? 
Shout out to all the people that love WWE and Dragon Ball, because I know y'all are in the comment section, so this was for you, right? Now, last little thing, a little PSA for, this is some separate just for my channel, for people that watch my content. I don't know if this is true or not. I saw several people saying this over the past day or two, okay? I said, I don't know if this is true, but if you see anyone impersonating me without a check mark next to their name on YouTube, it's not me because I got this comment and several other people replied saying, Ayo, slow. I think there's someone going around posing as you hopping into live streams of other people's channels. Okay. So if you do not see this little check mark next to my name, then it's not me. Okay. So please, if you can, you know, avoid this person or I mean, if you want to re report them or whatever, uh, again, it's me if you see the check mark and they I'm going to imagine I'm going to assume because there's a lot of people that do not like me. They're going around. They could potentially be saying a lot of nasty, horrible shit to people. And you guys know that ain't me. OK, I ain't going to be doing that, you know, just randomly for in another person's stream. Some dude, you know, dude just trying to have a good time, stream his content, you know, whatever it may be. And we got some asshole in there saying some crazy stuff. I don't know. I have no idea what they're saying, but, uh, you know, I don't know. We'll see <laughs> until I can catch whoever this is and, you know, hopefully get them removed or whatever it may be. Uh, but yeah, if you do see them, just know it's not me. Uh, if you see me talking, you'll know I got the check mark. So thanks for watching, guys. Again, just a video mainly just to talk about the situation, the news. Um, at the end of the day, don't take me too seriously. I'm just having a good time. We're, we're having some laughs over this or whatever. Um, at this point in time, I think the leaks and everything, it's, you can't stop them. They're going to be everywhere. It's already spread. The damage has already been done, right? But that's not going to prevent Bandai and like the social media people from going and trying their best to do their job. They're just doing their job, right? So, um, if you do get the game early, great. I would advise you guys just keep it to yourself, right? I'm not saying, oh, you, you can't enjoy the game. No, you can enjoy the game, play it early, whatever it may be. If you got it a week ago, months ago, whatever it may be, you know, enjoy the game. Just don't post anything until this embargo or whatever is is over and you know it's you're able to your to you know stream or do content on it. Okay. And that's when early access goes live, like I said, around like you know, 5 p.m. CST tomorrow. I'm so excited for this game. I know you guys are too. Less than, you know, 24, actually, it's about just a little over 24 hours until this game, you know, will release, okay, by the time this video goes up, so, y'all have a blessed day, have a great one, and I'll see you guys in Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. Peace. <laughs> this is Broly, and you are watching Slow Plays. Make sure to subscribe, or else I'll destroy your entire planet. <laughs>